Hello and welcome to another Doctor's Assistant 1 video and today I'll be taking a look at Tom Baker at 80. Ah, well, I used to be the Doctor, you know. Well, I used to be the Doctor. You may be a Doctor, but I'm the Doctor. The definite article, you might say. Would you like a chili, baby? Ah, yes, quite. Anyway, yes, um, yeah, Tom Baker at 80, interviewed by the wonderful Nicholas Briggs, um, as Tom Baker in this recording, of course, is 80 years old, and to mark that monument yeah, monumentous celebration of sorts, uh, Nicholas Briggs has interviewed Tom Baker for a whopping two hours, um, interview which apparently flew by um so yeah first of all i'll go through the packaging uh tom baker at 80 uh interviewed by nicholas Con uh nicholas courtney nicholas Ni bleh, nicholas briggs even uh you got awesome picture of tom uh tom baker at 80 big finish logo there then just tom baker at 80 again big finish there and then a little bit of a bio a little quote thing and then the booklet inside the discs, which is the same pretty much art as the front, and then a little bit of a thing saying what other things you'd like, and that's about it really. It's um very dull packaging unfortunately. Packaging is not too good, but yeah. Um yeah, I think this is a must have for anyone who's any bit the fan of Tom Baker, of course. Um, you know, it's it's a must have as it marks his 80th um, year on the planet Earth, and, you know, he is just recalling all of these different fond memories and things he has done. I think my only little nitpick, uh, or personally, would be that maybe it's a bit all over the place, uh, but then again, it is Tom Baker talking himself, uh, you know, it's just him himself talking about his experience and so you know to be fair he is 80 so you know you know if his mind's a bit scatterbrained and a bit all over the place that's pr more than likely why uh which i don't mind i mean that's what he's notorious for even when he was the doctor you know he was you know all over the place um and that you know uh, and I adore the man, you know, I, I just l love hearing the stories about him, you know. I think most of it is about Doctor Who, so, you know, which is always good as a Doctor Who fan, surprisingly enough. I like it when he's talking about Doctor Who. Uh, it's just that a bit after that you get, you know, stuff what he's done after uh, doing Doctor Who, or what he tried to do and d tried to do uh, after Doctor Who, and why I say tries, because obviously he was finding it re very difficult um, and rather challenging to get out of the, the persona of just that one character and stuff, you know. Um, you know, and I think if you've not picked up the 501st issue of DWM, I think this is a must-have, as although there is still quite a bit, or quite a lot of good stuff here, some of that sort of stuff gets picked up and mentioned, not so much in more depth, but just mentioned there as well, so if you've read that like I did, and then went and uh, purchase this and listen to this as I have, then you might just find yourself re-listening slash, you know, re-getting told about these stories uh, and stuff. But then again, it is just nice to have all this sort of, like, you know, info and stuff uh, on the man himself, Tom Baker, you know, all just neatly packaged in one, you know, uh, big finish audio uh, as it's two discs one hour each and they fly by seriously it's one of the easiest listens uh, I mean I got a little bit bored maybe just once or twice uh, once in both disc and then I was just like nope I've got to listen to this I mean that's literally it I mean I just got a little bit bored um, and yeah that's about it really on that front everything else you know it was just very gripping and very interesting you know about his uh stuff about him when he was uh in the catholic church of salts and and was a monastery uh, in a monastery and a, and a monk for a while you know from that to you know being in the army and then being on the building site thing and then you know uh doing doctor who and and stuff like that you know um it's all very cool and it's it's I think what makes it so personally personally what I think makes it so fundamentally 
uh, gripping is the fact that it's all coming from this man, the man himself, you know? It's it's not like he's proper, like, on edge, like he needs to sort of say a certain thing or things along that line, you know? Which is what I kind of get sometimes when I watch the 50th anniversary interviews with him, you know? Uh, when people are, you know, interviewing him about stuff, you know? It's like, I feel like he's a bit on edge, like he, he needs to give a certain reaction or say a certain thing to appease the people who are interviewing him. Whereas here, he seems to just be so relaxed and so just, you know, just sort of shooting the shit, so to speak, with uh, Nicholas Briggs, which is nice, you know. And I think he deserves it, seeing as he's, you know, got to 80 years old. Uh, well, he's 82 of this recording, but yeah, uh, you know, obviously here he's 80, so, you know... um. And yeah, I think he deserves, um, you know, the right to, to tell his story the way he wants to and in a safe, nice environment, you know, uh, and that, you know, he doesn't go too specifically on anything bad that's happened to him and, and things along that line, you know, which is fair enough, you know, what he wants to share is up to him, really, you know, Nicholas Briggs does ask him questions here and there, and does try and keep him on track, uh, to a certain area, or a certain, uh, question, you know, try and rein him back in if he's going a bit too far off the, the rails, so to speak, uh, when, when trying to recall, uh, 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 an answer, uh, to a question of, you know, what was it like back when you were the Doctor in those first early years, you know, and then he's recalling a memory back then, but then he just gets, you know, goes off on a tangent, as you would, uh, and that, you know, and he, he just sounds very happy, very, you know, just happy that he's there and stuff, and they mention about Big Finish as well in, in the latter half, you know, in the closer towards the end of the second disc, you know, uh, and that which is really nice, you know, because as, as surprising as it sounds, he seems to be very much, you know, happy that he's uh, back as the Doctor. I mean, it's nice because, you know, um, he didn't want to come back as the Doctor in the Five Doctors, which, again, makes sense. Uh, and that, and I mean, he was, well, there was idea, there was talk of him coming back as the Doctor in the 1996 TV movie, whether or not he would have wanted that, I don't know, and then even back in 2005, they were thinking about, again, him, and it's just like, as much as it pains me to say this, but, you know, because I'm a massive Tom Baker fan, you know, why, you know, no, is the answer to that, you know, um, but yeah, I think it's a must-have for anyone who's a fan of the uh, the great and amazing Tom Baker. Uh, from fans of you know, from fa from young fans to you know, young adult fans to teens to adult fans to really old fans, you know, old folk fans, you know, retro <laughs> diehard fans, you know. I think this is a must-have if you're any bit the fan of Tom Baker. So yeah, thanks for watching, comment, rate and subscribe.